Hello, and welcome to the very first video on this brand new channel. My name is YGO Mike, and welcome to my pure Endymion deck profile. Now, this deck profile is done, well, this deck, I should say, rather, is played without um, Magician Souls, because I can't afford that, so... I don't pull so I don't play it so yeah let's get started with this profile so to start off with um, I run three magical abductors um, it's a very good card uh, I I never really normal summon it anymore it's, it's always ending up in the scales it's, it's essentially a uh, replacement for only having one servant of endymion um up next the actual endymion cards i play is three uh endymion the mighty master of magic which i don't there's been a lot said about him so i i don't need to say anything more on that uh the rest of the endymions i play at one is one Magister of Endymion, which I know a lot of people don't play him much anymore. Uh, I throw him in because I didn't I had nothing really else to throw in, so I decided to throw him in. Uh, one Servant, which I still wish was at three, and then one Reflection. So I definitely think those ratios are fine. Uh, they definitely work with me. This was a lot, this bill is a lot better than my Endymion uh, Magician lists that if you come from my main channel, then you know, that, then you would have seen over the past couple of months, I was playing Magician Endymion until I decided to go full Endymion. But I do still have some Magician cards, which are coming up, being the Triple Chronograph Sorcerer, which is a staple in any pendulum build as well as the one time gazer magician uh again nothing needs to be said on that but i do also have one harmonizing magician and one performer pal celestial magician um and that's only just to be able to get out borlord savage dragon and yes this is a japanese ultimate rare i will get to that when i go to the extra deck. Um, I do play the Mythical Beast uh, engine in replacement of the uh, Magician Soul engine. Um, so I play, of course, the three Jackal King and two Master Cerberus. I never really go into to Master Cerberus unless it's in my open hand. Um, but I... Two seems to be fine. If I had another card, I probably would cut it down to one. But, you know, from playing this deck now for about a... This build, anyway, for about a month, two seems to be fine. The last two monsters are Spellbook Magician of Pro Prophecy, or otherwise known as Blue Boy. So, yeah, that is it for the main deck. Um, Well, not the main deck. The monsters, sorry. Uh, for spells, I, pl of course, play all the draw powers that I can, being Tree Spell Power Mastery, which I have a feeling this could potentially go to one at some point. Um, out of that, or Endymion himself, or even Selene, just because of how much... They can recur, not recur, um, net you advantage essentially. Uh, for the spellbook engine, I play two spellbooks of secrets and the one knowledge. For more draw power, I of course play the triple allure of darkness, triple pot of desires. Uh, I do play the Metal Foes Fusion Package, being the Metal Foes Fusion and the two Foolish Burial Goods. 
the last two draw power cards I have is Upstart Goblin and Into the Void. And then the last two spells that I do play is Magical Institution and Magical Citadel of Endymion. Um, this I probably will cut at some point, I just don't have another spell to throw in. I might throw in another Citadel, uh, because since throwing it back into the deck, uh, I find that it definitely does help. So now that is the main deck, um, which... I love this deck. I have been playing Pendulums for since I got back into the game, which is about two years now. And uh, this I've been slowly upgrading the deck over uh, those two years. So that is the current build. Moving on to the extra deck. Now, I should note, and you've already seen it, I do play one Japanese copy of Borrowed Savage Dragon, but I do play another Japanese card, and that is Apollosa. Um, I'll get to that one now in a minute. So, for the extra deck, I do play the Vortex, the one Savage. Uh, for XEs, I do play the Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion. This has always been a staple in my pendulum lists. I haven't taken it out, and I don't see a reason why to take it out. It's... It's good OTK, uh, it's a good method of OTKing if you, you have no other place to do except for this one, and not a lot of people expect it. Uh, the one Time Star Magician, Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. For the Lynx, I play one Crowley, one Daybreaker, one Cross Sheep, one Nightmare Phoenix, three Selenes. Nightmare Unicorn, Borload Savage, sorry, Borload, Borl Sword Dragon, if I can talk, and then the Appaloosa. So the reason why I uh, run the two Japanese copies um, of these is essentially buying the Jap the OCG versions was a cheaper option. Like I paid, I want to say about 12 for this and we don't have this as an ultimate rare we only have it as a ultra so you know different rarities and then the Appaloosa I paid 11 for and it came as an ultra and instead of a secret so you know cheaper options but that is it for the extra deck uh, the last thing to go over would be the side so it's only a 14 card side deck because i haven't had the opportunity to buy the 15th and i'll get to what the 15th would be now in a second so i play three denko sekas uh the one pankatops uh two secret village of the spellcasters and the one terraforming uh three cosmic cyclones the one Dark Ruler No More, because it's the only copy that I have. And to Summon Limit, this would, I would, if, if I had the opportunity to soon, I'm definitely going to be buying a third, which would, will be the 15th card. And lastly, Red, 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 bleh, if I can talk, Red Reboot. So, there you guys go. That is it for my very first deck profile. If you enjoyed and want to see more deck profiles, there will be some uploaded weekly. I'm going to just upload once a week on this channel, maybe even twice a week, depending. Um, the next deck profile will be an Orcist uh, deck profile. So if you want to see that, uh, please do leave a like uh, and let me know, and I will see you in the next deck profile.